Hey everyone, and welcome back to the multi-dimensional journey. This is your host, Ayahuasca Carr, and this month we are continuing our discussions around the incredible, um, amazing ayahuasca. I'm trying to figure out my mic here. Burr, 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 burr. I need to put the ayahuasca over to the side. And um, so earlier this week, I put a post about setting intentions with ayahuasca and this is something i've talked about before and if you are a a regular ceremony goer or just somebody who's just beginning to get into this practice you know this is something that is talked about quite often and so today i kind of want to talk about my perspective and my experiences with setting intentions with ayahuasca and hopefully it can help you so setting intentions with ayahuasca keeping it real basic here is just basically asking ourselves, you know, why are we doing this and what do we hope um, to get out of it? And what are, what are we seeking? You know, what is our heart seeking? What is our soul seeking? You know, when we, when we practice with ayahuasca, we step into a whole nother dimension of life. You know, most of us are really busy throughout our lives, we're doing projects, we're engaged with our families, with our partners, you know, life. Um, we're engaged with our own internal process, our external process. And when we slow down enough to take time to think about why are we doing something like an ayahuasca ceremony? Because the truth is, is that you could be doing a lot of things with your Saturday night, your Sunday night, your Friday night, whatever what are your weeks, your months that you take out of your life. So there is something really special about even deciding to engage with this practice, at least in my opinion. So I think, um, and some people just come for curiosity and they're like, what, what's all the hype? You know, it's different for everyone across the board. And at the end of the day, it's really like a call to look within. And, um, so, in the beginning when i first started you know practicing with ayahuasca my intentions were very um opened i would just go in and be like you know whatever the medicine wants to show me um and place it to show me what i don't know to teach me um i can't say like in the beginning like for my the, my first time i ever had the privilege of doing ayahuasca, I had no reference of what was about to happen, if I'm being super honest with you. I mean, I kinda, I kinda knew, but I really didn't. Like, really what happened was never what I could have expected. So, um, in terms of the experience, um, in terms of, um, you know, what my practice of setting intentions was from the beginning to what it is now it's much more sophisticated since my relationship with it is closer more depthful i kind of know like for the most part like how she works but still it's always unpredictable at least in my experience um and um i have learned that you know, you can set your expectations or you can set your intentions and um, expectations are different. We'll get to those in a second, but you can set your intentions and um, the more specific you are, the better. This is what I have found. You know, it's one thing to say that, um, you know, I want to heal. And it's another thing to say is, I want to heal and I want to be shown the ways that I self-sabotage in my life. I want to be able to look at different ways inside of my mind and my body and my heart that I can um, change this behavior and be shown why I do it. Those are two different statements, right? So basically, you know, the intention kind of mirrors life. Like the more specific and clarity we have around something, the better. Yet some of us go into ceremony being revealed to stuff to us that we didn't even know that was there. And this is super common. 
and um it's just it's it's um so some of the things i'm bringing up today it's like there's nothing wrong with being like you know, um, you know, I want to heal. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing, you know, it's, it's a, it's not a comparison thing. I'm just kind of sharing my experiences. Um, and the, the more specific you are, the deeper you can go. And the most incredible thing that I, as I've, um, deepened my connection with ayahuasca, with my practice, I realized that, and this goes for other practices I've done too, but we're talking about ayahuasca, um, whether it's meditation or breath work or outside of, um, you know, psychedelics and plant medicines, it's that I can actually ask questions while I'm in the space and I can ask for help. I can ask for guidance. I can ask to be shown something. And sometimes it comes in most of the time I do get an answer, but sometimes I don't because um, maybe I'm not asking the right question or, you know, um, that's not what's just, that's not what's meant to happen at that time or whatever it is. Um, So what I recommend in terms of setting your personal intentions, whether it's your first time, whether you've had an experience with ayahuasca and perhaps it was terrible and you're still deciding to go forward with your practice or whatever it may be, is like taking time to get still and music is absolutely incredible in invoking an emotional experience to get quiet and go inside um and when we can ask ourselves you know the things that are on our hearts rather than our minds we are definitely in a in a um a more authentic space and you know the things that the mind wants are different than what the heart wants. And although we do, we all need balance between the mind and the heart, um, I would say try to go there, you know, try to tap into that place of authenticity and um, try to see um, what it is that you, that you really want, what your spirit wants. You know, I don't know how you relate to yourself. Like some of us relate to ourselves through the mind. Some of us relate to ourselves through the heart. Some of us relate to ourselves through the spirit. And I would recommend trying to set the intention from a place of spirit or heart. And um, and yeah, and when it comes to setting intentions, I do, I think that it's really helpful to write them down and to reflect on them weeks, months, even years afterwards. There's nothing that's more incredible than writing down um, what you've experienced in ceremony for yourself. It's in the, cause the truth is we forget these experiences so quickly. We really, really do. Um, and so, um, so yeah, that is setting intentions for this month. Please leave your comments, your experiences below. We can all learn from each other in this community as we begin to navigate, you know, pretty much uncharted territory in the Western culture. So um, happy to be of service to you all. Happy to create a safe place where we can all talk about different experiences. And I hope you guys are having a great week. I will see you throughout the week. And once again, this is the multi-dimensional journey with Ayahuasca Carr.